Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Google Scikit in WordPress. Before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. Now in this case, you might be wondering how do you actually start using Google Scikit in your WordPress website. As you can see, this is the official website for the uh, Scikit for uh, Google, which in this case, scikit.withgoogle.com. Now you should be able to see different information about this one as well as the documentations, news, and some integrations if you want to view them. Now in this case, how do we actually integrate it into our WordPress website? Well, it's actually pretty easy. So what we need to do first is we need to actually visit our plugin. So at the plugins here, go ahead and hover over it and click on the add new plugin option. Now from here, go to the search plugins at the top right here, type in side kit and press on enter. Now you should be able to see different scikit here, but we'll be using the scikit by Google. Make sure the publisher is going to be Google. Let's go ahead and click on install now. And from here, let's go ahead and click on activate. In this case, let's just wait for it to activate itself. And as you can see right now, scikit is now active. Now what we need to do next is we now need to set it up. Now to set this up, go ahead and click on start setup. And from here, it will redirect you to Google scikit. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to sign in with Google. Now in this case, let's go ahead and click on sign in with Google here. And from here, you also have the option to actually connect your analytics here. So just to view uh, some of the network traffic that is going into your website, it is a great thing for you to actually enable this one. So just to view what is currently happening or just have analytics. In this case, let's go and click on sign in again. And from here, we need to choose our account. So in this case, I'm going to choose my account here. And from here, let's go and click on continue. Now, it's also going to ask you some permissions regarding your account. So that includes see and download your Google Analytics data, view your Google Tag Manager container, many of you and manage your search console and manage the list of sites and domain you control. But in this case, we are going to enable all of this one. And from here, let's go and click on continue. Now, it's going to give you some steps for you to actually verify your ownership just to make sure that you're really owner of that website. In this case, you could go ahead and just click on verify here to proceed with the next step here. And also, it's going to ask you to turn on metrics on your dashboard. So to show metrics on your site dashboard, you need to allow the following website to access your Google account data. So let's go ahead and click on allow. And from here, we need to turn on the or set up the search console as well. In this case, you can just click on set up now or set up. And it should redirect you to the next page, which in this case, setting up Google Analytics. In this case, let's go ahead and click on Next. Now, on the next page, it's going to redirect you back into your WordPress website. And now it's going to ask you to please select the account information below. Now, in this, in this case, you need to select your account. So previously, I already have a bunch of accounts that I'm using for analytics. But to keep things a lot separate here, we'll be setting up a new account. So let's go ahead and click on set up a new account here. And you need to uh, basically indicate the account. Now in this case, we want to indicate it as is on a website here. And we want to add a property and web data stream as well. In this case, you need to choose your country, time zone, but all of this data will be populated automatically. In this case, let's go ahead and click on create account. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to wait for it and basically choose our account here. Let's go ahead and click on continue to finish setting up. I just go ahead and click on continue. But also, if you want to view their terms of service, privacy policies, you could go and click on the appropriate links here. But in this case, I'm going to click on continue to allow SiteKit to be able to edit Google, Google Analytics management entities. In this case, once you've done that, you should be able to have your own account for this specific website. So let's just wait for it to load up. Now it's also also going to redirect you to the analytics terms of service agreement. Now there's going to be a lot of information that you could view here. So make sure that you read all through it first. But in this case, we are going to uh, go to the very bottom here. And from here, we want to go ahead and accept it. In this case, let's go and click on the checkbox next to it. And from here, let's go and click on I accept. Again, make sure to read their terms of service here. In this case, as you can see, your analytics account was successfully created. Let's go ahead and go to go to my dashboard. 
Now from here, it should redirect you back into your uh, WordPress website. And as you can see right now, we have different information that we can now access on our website. Like for example, in the traffic section, you have the find out how your audience is growing. So in this case, it's going to first gather, start gathering data. So you have your visitors here, as well as the search traffic over the last 28 days and the impressions, total clicks, unique visitors from search. Now it's going to give you a lot of information how your website is doing. Now you also have to see how your content is doing. So it's going to start gathering data. So obviously since our account is fairly new, you won't see much in here, but in this case, it's going to start gathering data in here. Now in this case, if you want to click on content at the top section here, it's still going to redirect you to content. If you go to speed here, it's, it will redirect you to speed, which in this case, you'll be able to uh, basically keep track on how fast your pages are and get specific recommendations and what to improve here. So we also have the monetization here, which is a great way for you to uh, basically earn more money from your website. So we have the capabilities of actually adding AdSense into our website here. Now, if you're not familiar yet, AdSense is a great way for you to earn money because in this case, uh, you'll be able to actually just focus on creating content for your website, improving your content. And AdSense would actually do the heavy lifting for you, for you to earn money from your, web from your website. So they will be giving uh, related ads on your website here. And you need to do a bunch of things, uh, things here for you to set it up. So if you really want to use it, you can go ahead and click on connect now. And just follow the steps for you to actually connect your uh, AdSense or create your AdSense account for you to start earning on your website itself. But for analytics and seeing your traffic for your uh, website here, Psykit, uh, this is how you actually set it up. In this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.